Grey's Anatomy is one of the longest running and hottest shows on TV. Now in its 18th season, the series is showing no signs of slowing down, and fans can't wait to see what season 18 has in store for them. So stay tuned and don't go away, because today we're revealing Grey's Anatomy season 18 details fans need to know about, plus other related details. First up, will there be a 19th season of Grey's Anatomy? You're about to find out. Grey's Anatomy was created by legendary TV producer Shonda Rhimes, and the primetime medical drama even beat ER's previous record of 15 seasons. And as recent news revealed, the series is not only showing no signs of slowing down, it's actually speeding up. Here are the facts on everything you need to know for Grey's Anatomy Season 18. Grey's Anatomy has aired eight episodes this season, but is currently in the middle of its winter break. Break. You can expect the next episode of Grey's Anatomy Season 18 on February 24th. The good news is, while fans wait for the next episode, they won't have to worry about these being the final episodes of the long-running series. ABC has recently announced that it is renewing Grey's Anatomy for a 19th season, with star Ellen Pompeo set to return as well, in addition to Chandra Wilson and James Pickens Jr. If you recall, Towards the end of season 17, series lead Ellen Pompeo's contract was coming to an end, and it wasn't clear whether or not she would sign on for another season as Meredith Grey. In a recent interview, showrunner Krista Vernoff recently stated, We have two versions of the season 17 finale ready to go, depending on if Pompeo would not return and it needed to serve as series finale. Next up, so will Pompeo renegotiate? negotiate her contract. Let's take a look. Thankfully, we've recently learned that Pompeo did come to an agreement with the network to return, so we can confirm that she is back for season 18 of the series. We've also learned that Pompeo's contract has been renewed for one year, and when the new contract is up, it'll likely be renegotiated for a similar length of time. Other original cast members signed new contracts as well, including Chandra Wilson and James Pickens Jr., although longtime cast member Jesse Williams chose not to return for season 18 after 12 years on the show. Other cast members confirmed to return for season 18 are Kevin McKidd, Camilla Luddington, and Kim Raver. We've also learned that new actors have signed on for season 18 too, including Peter Gallagher, who rose to fame on the hit series The O.C. and Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. It's been announced that Gallagher will join the show in a recurring role as Dr. Alan Hamilton. Gallagher's character has a connection with Kate Burton's character, Ellis Gray, Meredith's late mother. Burton is also expected to appear in multiple episodes in season 18, and former cast members are set to return to the series, such as Kate Walsh, who signed on for season 18 to reprise her role as the character Addison Forbes Montgomery, while Abigail Spencer will return for her role as the character Megan Hunt. Up next in terms of the story, Storyline, what can we expect from season 18? Let's find out. Season 17 of the show dealt largely with the COVID-19 pandemic. And considering the deadly virus is still impacting countries around the world, you can expect it will be part of the storyline in the upcoming season. As for the storyline for season 17, if you recall, we saw Meredith recover from her illness, which in turn gave the show the opportunity to reunite her with previous cast members Patrick Dempsey, T.R. Knight, Eric Dane, Tyler Lee, and Sarah Drew in dream sequences and flashbacks. We also saw a potential romance with Cormac, so this could likely spill over into season 18. A love triangle could be developing between Amelia, Link, and Joe, and there's a new batch of residents in the hospital that are sure to spur some new storylines for fans to enjoy. ABC released the official synopsis for the first episode of season 18, titled Here Comes the Sun. The synopsis reads, the Gray Sloan doctors treat a patient who encountered illegal fireworks. They has set her sights on hiring new doctors, but she's having trouble finding viable options. Owen and Teddy attempt to take the next step in their engagement. We're also seeing a Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 crossover as both shows
shows start their new seasons with crossover episodes. We've also learned that there will be another crossover episode between the two shows when they both return on February 24th as both shows are halfway through their current seasons. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're giving you the scoop on the latest season 18 details. Next up, how did Ellen Pompeo's on-screen relationship with Patrick Dempsey affect her relationship in real life? Let's take a look. Ellen Pompeo's character, Meredith Grey, and Patrick Dempsey's character, Derek Shepard, are the most beloved couple in the entire show. Since the show began in March of 2005, fans have hoped for nothing but the best for the couple, even after Derek was killed off in season 11. Dempsey said it felt very special and really comfortable filming scenes with Pompeo. Pompeo said, It's like riding a bike. We just have a chemistry and a dynamic that's always served us well, and I think we have genuine affection for each other. It was very healing to come back and know that we're doing something good, putting out a positive story, a healing story, going to make people smile. However, Pompeo's husband, Chris Ivory, wasn't thrilled when he found out how steamy the show was. Pompeo and Ivory met roughly six months before she filmed the Grey's Anatomy pilot. Pompeo said, Poor guy had no idea what he was getting into. I remember in the beginning, it was really hard for him. He was like, This is not what I signed up for. You're kissing a guy. You go to work and make out with that? I like Patrick and everything. He's a good dude, but like, really? Up next, so who's dating who? Let's find out. The fame that came with the show's success wasn't easy for Pompeo's husband, Chris Ivory, to deal with. Pompeo said, It was a lot for him at first. He was really a trooper. I have to say, he is my favorite person. I made choices to stay on the show. For me, personally, a healthy home life was more important than a career. I didn't grow up with a particular happy childhood, so to have a happy home life was really something I needed to complete to close the hole in my heart. Pompeo met Ivory in 2003, and they were wed in November 2007. She gave birth to their first child, Stella, in September of 2009. Five years later, in 2014, the couple welcomed their second child, Sienna, via surrogate, and a third child, their son Eli, in 2016. Chandra Wilson has been with her partner for for more than 30 years, but has chosen to keep his name private. They share daughters Serena and Joy Lynn and son Michael. Next up, what about the other cast members? Who are they dating? Let's have a look. Actor Kevin McKidd was married to Jane Parker from 1999 to 2017. They share son Joseph and daughter Iona. McKidd tied the knot with chef Ariel Goldrath in January of 2018, and they welcomed their son Aiden into the world in May of 2018, and daughter Neva a year later in July of 2019. Actor Karina Scorsone married musician Rob Giles in June of 2009, and their daughters Eliza, Pippa, and Lucky arrived in July of 2012, November 2016, and December 2019, respectively. Scorsone and Giles split up in March of 2020 and recently finalized their divorce in December of 2021. Actor Camilla Luddington and actor Matthew Allen were married in August of 2019 and have two children together, a daughter named Hayden and a son named Lucas, who were both born in March of 2017 and August 2020. Actor Chris Carmack and musician Eric Slaber had a daughter named Kai together in August of 2016 and were married in October of 2018. Actor James Pickens Jr. has been married to former music member Gina Taylor since May of 19. 1984, and they have a son named Carl and a daughter named Gavin. Actor Kim Raver and director Manuel Boyer were wed in July of 2000 and welcomed sons Luke and Leo in July of 2002 and October of 2007. Actor Kelly McCreary married director Pete Chapman in May of 2019 after they met on the set of Grey's Anatomy. McCreary gave birth to their first child, a daughter named Indigo, in October of 2021. Finally, what's happening in Patrick Dempsey's love life? Patrick Dempsey 
was previously married to his manager, Rochelle Rocky Parker, from 1987 to 1994, but later moved on and married Jillian Fink in July of 1999. Dempsey and Fink welcomed their daughter, Tallulah, in February of 2002, and twin sons, Sullivan and Darby, in February of 2007. Jillian filed for divorce in January of 2015, however, the couple reconciled their differences later that same year. Jillian requested to have their divorce case dismissed in November of 2016. Since then, the couple reported they are happily in love and are one big happy family. That's a wrap for today's video, folks. Thank you for watching.